It was back on April 18th. The sad news came out that American Idol alumni Christian singer Mandisa had passed away at just the age of 47 years old. There were many questions that were coming out at the time of her death. All sorts of speculation running wild and, you know, you know the past depression that Mandisa went through came up here uh, as one of the indicators that may have potentially led to her death. I know that her own father, this was during her memorial service that took place not long after her passing, had stated that, in fact, you know, man, he was adamant about this, said that Mandisa did not in any way harm herself whatsoever. Because again, that was a a very strong assumption that was going around on social media. And I thought it just very strange because, you know, again, we, we had no idea. You know, there was no proof of that. There was uh, nothing to at least indicate that in the beginning. In fact, investigators had, you know, even talked about how it didn't appear to be any foul play. Uh, Mandisa, of course, she was uh, found unresponsive in her own bed. Uh, so... Now, after all these weeks later, we're talking about six weeks later, the autopsy report is back with the official cause. We're going to get into it here in just a second. Welcome, everybody, to Not By Sight News. Yes, a blind Christian guy here reporting to you, reminding you, as always, that we walk by faith, not by sight. For someone like me, that's kind of my only option. Speaking of that, for those interested, you want to know my story. How did I go blind? How do I operate my entire ministry without being able to see I made a video that explains it all. You'll find a link to that in the description section of all my videos. And if you really enjoy and appreciate the work that I do here, think about donating to help me out. There's a few different ways you could do that. One, by just hitting the super thanks button on the YT video here, or you can join my Patreon for as little as five bucks a month, patreon.com slash notbysightnews, link in the description. Hey, do you want to get access to these videos before they ever hit my main YT channel? Well, when you join the Patreon, that is exactly what you are going to get, along with a bunch of other cool features. I hope you'll join me over there. Again, patreon.com slash notbysightnews. Big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. So let me just kind of recap you on Mandisa's struggles with depression, because again, it's something that needs to be talked about. Uh, it was, again, widely brought up at the time of her death. If you go back to 2014, this, of course, uh, was very well known at the time. It was reported on that one of Mandisa's closest friends had died, unfortunately, of breast cancer. And this is somebody that, again, was very close to Mandisa. You know, she was also her background singer. And when the news came, it really just struck Mandisa and put her uh, in a very dark state, a very dark and depressive state. She basically had become a recluse and she isolated herself from friends and family. This went on for multiple years, in fact. Uh, but finally, uh, one day, they were, and thankfully, you know, they were able to, to reach out to her. And, you know, Mandisa, even in interviews, about this at the time when, when she came out of the depression she talked about how multiple times she thought about you know ending her own life because if she did she said that she would be with jesus and she would not have to be going through you know all of these dark things that she was currently facing but she broke out of it uh, not only did she break out of the depression but she used this as a way to help other people and share her story and so she did that by, by putting out a book that, that dealt specifically with depression uh, and coming out of the darkness and into the light. Uh, and it was a book that was very well received. In fact, there had been many that had commented about how the book helped to really change their life and bring them out of depression. Uh, many people that felt just like Mandisa that wanted to take their own life. But because they read that book, uh, it completely changed them, and they decided to make the choice to live. So, again, it was very, it was very inspiring, and it was actually, it was sad to see so many people that immediately jumped to this conclusion that, well, you know, she she had to have, you know, taken her own life because, again, you know, her past and everything. Maybe she 
fell back into depression. You know, if you looked at her social media um, in the weeks before her death, I mean, this is somebody that had plans. Like she was, she had, was planned to appear at several different events. And so uh, in no way did this really indicate uh, in any way that she wanted to take her own life. Uh, again, somebody that was very joyful. You know, Mendisa always had this infectious smile all the time. Uh, and again, she w went so far beyond just her time on American Idol and, you know, everything that she accomplished there. Of course, you know, she didn't win, but, you know, it led to multiple albums coming out from her. So she had a very successful career. Her father detailed at the memorial service about how, you know, uh, the, the thought that she could have took her own life, he just didn't buy this. You know, he talked about how, uh, you know, the way that she was laying, I guess she had fallen out of the bed um, her phone was, I guess, on a nightstand on the opposite side of where she had fallen. So there would have been no way for her to, you know, actually get over to the phone to call for help. Uh, he just, again, did, did not buy into this at all. Well, now we know for sure. The autopsy report has been released. Uh, in fact, I'll have a link for you here in the description of this video. You can read up more about it. But the official cause of death is complications due to to obesity. They're claiming that this is a class three level of obesity for Mandisa. And the other thing that they linked here was that they actually also listed it as natural causes, which I don't understand that, how you link something like this to just being natural causes. It's always weird when they include that uh, in an autopsy report, but they went on here to further state to explain a little bit more about as far as what a class three obesity level is. They talk about the, the BMI, the body mass index, and they say that for Mandisa, uh, it was above a 40. Uh, now, the normal range, they say, uh, is anywhere between 18 to 24 um, percent. Even if you get up over 35, they say that is still a pretty high level. Uh, or uh, if you're over 100 pounds of what your, your normal weight is. So again, they're linking this to complications with obesity, class three. You know, they, they talk about, it wasn't anything specific as far as, you know, heart attack or whatever. I mean, I'm thinking that might've been the case. But the other thing that Mandisa had talked about, this is after she interviewed and she, she came out of the depression. She talked about actually, you know, living a healthier lifestyle and that she was gonna be changing her life and, and you know, one pound at a time making better decisions. Uh, so, you know, I saw a lot of other theories about uh, out there as far as, uh, you know, what uh, potentially may have led to her death as well. Uh, there, there were some that were saying, and I guess her father had stated this as well, that, uh, that she had been battling, uh, you know, a, a certain illness that a lot of platforms don't like us talking about. And I think you'll know what I'm getting with that. So whether or not that tied into this as well, I don't know. Uh, I don't think they would, because, you know, they don't like to bring that up, but I don't think that they would even bring that up as a possibility anyway, just because of, uh, you know, how the coverage of that particular illness has been. So regardless of, of what they want, again, they want to call it class three obesity. Okay, here's what I can tell you. This is my belief. I, I fully believe that Mandisa is with Jesus that she is in heaven, she's not suffering anymore, uh, and she is singing before the Lord. I mean, it don't get better than that, right? You know, To be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord, as the Bible says, um, and I know that doesn't make it any easier for Mandisa's family, for her friends, her fans, of course, that love this woman, that had such a positive impact in their lives. Uh, but I will tell you that there will be reunions in heaven uh, that is something that we can all look forward to. I know we've all had loved ones, friends that have gone on. Uh, but you know what? If we have a relationship with Jesus Christ, we can know and believe that we again will see them. Uh, and it will be an absolute paradise. So uh, that's the update here on Mandisa, the official cause of death. Again, you can read more uh, in the link I will provide for you in the description. And I welcome your thoughts in the comment section. What do you think here about the autopsy report? Again, they're linking it class three level of obesity as the cause and again, if you really enjoy and appreciate the work here of this ministry and you would like to donate to help me out and keep me going, remember you can hit that super thanks button on the YT video or join my Patreon for as little as five bucks a month.
at patreon.com slash notbysightnews. What I want to do right now, something I do on all these videos, and that's end this video on hope. It's part of my ministry outreach. This is an altar call. I've been doing this on my videos here since 2016. You know, no matter what it is that I'm discussing here in the church, we always want to give people the opportunity to receive Christ as Savior. And, you know, speaking of Mandisa, you want to make sure that whenever you leave this world, however you do, that you are in the arms of Christ when it happens. So for anybody watching now, if you are somebody who has not yet accepted Christ into your life and you would like to do so, I want to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. This is a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing you want to do right off the top, acknowledge that you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world as he died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. That means to turn from sin, not just to say you're sorry and then jump back to your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away, and the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Again, more info down below. I welcome your thoughts. Thank you all again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.